underlying legacy, the midpoints of size, given here, and we need to find out the vertices of a triangle, the midpoints of the sides of a triangle are given, and we need to find out the vertices of a triangle. Let us recall the problem here. If D and F are the midpoints of the sides of triangle ABC, these sides are ABCCA of D is the midpoint of AB, and E is the midpoint of BC, and F is the midpoint of CA respectively. We need to find out the vertices of a triangle ABC. It is given that ABC is a triangle and D, E, F are midpoints of the sides AB. AB midpoint is 1, 1 and DC midpoint is 2, 2 and AC midpoint is 3, 3. Uh, it is taken the names as D, E and F. D, E, F are the midpoints of the sides of triangle ABC that are respectively AB, B, C, C, A. AB midpoint is D and B, C midpoint E and A, C midpoint F. So we need to find out the vertices of a triangle. So let the vertices vertices of a triangle a x comma y1 b x2 y2 c x3 y3 a x1 y1 we are taking the point a x1 y1 b x2 y2 C, X, A, Y, 3. So we need to find out these vertices. So, so let us take midpoints and this D, F are the two midpoints. So let us join the two midpoints D and F and also the midpoints E and F. Now we can observe. When we join the midpoints of D and F, there is a line segment and form and when we join these two midpoints E and F, there is a line segment. So here we can observe B E F B E F D is a parallelogram. When we join the midpoints of the triangle A B C and we will get a parallelogram. It is a parallelogram. So because of the property of the triangle, when the mid midpoints are joined together, it forms a triangle, it's, it forms a parallelogram. So, the opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal and there is one more property there, yeah, that is, the triangles of a parallelogram bisect each other. The diagonals of a parallelogram are bisecting each other. So, the midpoint of DE is equal to midpoint of BF. Let us recall again. We join the midpoints of DF, TF and FE. Then, it is a parallelogram form because it is a property. We know that the points of midpoints are joined, the midpoints of a triangle are joined together. It forms a parallelogram. And after form, forming a parallelogram, we know that if opposite vertices are joined together, that is called a diagonal and this is one of the diagonal. So, BF is a diagonal and D is, D is another diagonal. So, we know that the midpoint of BS, BF is equal to midpoint of DE. The property of parallelogram is nothing but the property of a parallelogram is the midpoints of D, BF is equal to midpoint of DE. Midpoint of BF is equals to 
midpoint of DE. So let us find out the midpoint of BF. So midpoint of BF is nothing but x2 plus 3 divided by 2 comma y2 plus 3 divided by 2. So midpoint of D is midpoint of D is 1 plus 2 divided by 2 comma 1 plus 2 divided by 2. After finding the midpoint of Bf is equals to midpoint of D, then we will be getting the value of x2 and y2. So let us simplify this to get the value of x2 and y2. So we know that in this, in this equation, the order pairs of here, is, there are two order pairs here and right hand side, there are two order pairs. When two order pairs are equal, then the x coordinates are equal and also y coordinates are also equal. So when we equate x coordinates, we will be getting here x2 plus 3 divided by 2 is equals to 1 plus 2 divided by 2. When we equate x coordinates here, x2 plus, x2 plus 3 divided by 2 is equals to 1 plus 2 divided by 2. When we equate y coordinates, y2 plus 3 divided by 2 equals to 1 plus 2 divided by 2. So let us simplify these two values. Here we can see that we can cancel these denominators because of when we transpose this 2 to the right hand side it becomes denominator then it will be cancelled. So x2 plus 3 is equals to 1 plus 2. So x2 plus 3 equals to 3 and x2 is equals to 3 minus 3 that is x2 is equals to 0. We got the value of x2 let us find out the value of y2. We can cancel. 2 and 2 as before we cancel. So that is y2 plus 3 is equals to 1 plus 2, y2 plus 3 is equals to 3, and y2 is equals to 3 minus 3, y2 is equals to 0. And we got the point x2, y2, that is bx, x2, y2, bx2, y2 is equals to 0 comma 0. We got the point x2 y2 is equal to 0 comma 0. So let us find out the another point let us join D and E and also D and F now previously we have joined these two, now again we will join D and F and D and E, D, F and D are joined. Then there is a parallelogram form here that is D, E, C, F. D, E, C, F is a parallelogram form and then we know that the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other the midpoint of the midpoint of D, C is equal to midpoint of E, F. Let us take the midpoint of DC. Is equal to midpoint of EF. So here, when we join D and F and D and E, here there is a parallelogram form like before and the and the diagonals of the parallelogram bisect each other, then we know that the point of DC is equal to point of the midpoint of DC. The midpoint of DC is equal to midpoint of EF. The midpoint of DC is equal to midpoint of EF. So when we have found the midpoint of DC, then that is 1 plus x3 divided by 2, 1 plus y3 divided by 2. So when we find the midpoint of EF, is nothing but 2 plus 3 divided by 2. 
2 plus 3 divided by 2, the midpoint of EF is nothing but 2 plus 3 divided by 2, comma, 2 plus 3 divided by 2 again. Then we know that, we know that the points, the two order pairs are equal, and then the order, the coordinates are equal, and x coordinate of the point is equal to x coordinate of the point in this. So y coordinate of the point is equal to y coordinate of the point in this. So x coordinate of the point is nothing but that is 1 plus x3 divided by 2 equals to 2 plus 3 divided by 2. The next point is 1 plus y3 divided by 2. 1 plus y3 divided by 2 equals to 2 plus 3 divided by 2. Let us simplify this 2. So here we can cancel this 2 in the denominators. Then we will be getting 1 plus 3. 1 plus x3 is equal to 2 plus 3. And then 1 plus x3 equals to 5. x3 is equal to 5 minus 1. Then x3 is equal to 4. We got the value of x3. Let us find out the value of y3. So here 2 is cancelled on both the sides. So we will be getting 1 plus y3 is equal to 2 plus 3. Then y, 1 plus y3 is equal to 5. y3 is equal to 5 minus 1. That is y3 is equal to 4. So here we got that the point x3, y3 is equal to 4 comma 4. So here the point B, x3, y3 is not but c. c x3, y3 is equal to 4 comma 4. We got the point of bx2, y2 and cx3, y3. Let us find out the point ax1, y1. So here, this is cx3, y3. We got 4, 4. Let us find out the point ax1, y1. So to find out ax1, y1, let us join. Let us find out the point ax1, y1. To find out the a, the, to find out the point ax1, y1, let us join d and f. Sorry, d and e and e and f. To find out the point ax1, y1, let us join a. It is joined here DE and also EF. DE is joined and it's called a line segment. And EF is also joined. It is a forms, it forms a line segment. And here this is big order like previously. DE FA is a parallelogram. DE FA is a parallelogram. Then the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. Diagonals of the parallelogram bisect each other. Then we know, then we know that the midpoint of A is equal to midpoint of D F. Midpoint of A is equal to midpoint of D F. So let us find out midpoint of A. Midpoint of A is equal to x1 plus 2 divided by 2. And y1 plus 2 divided by 2. x1 plus 2 divided by 2. And y1 plus 2 divided by 2. This is the midpoint of A. So let us find out the midpoint of Tf. That is 1 plus 3 divided by 2. Comma 1 plus 3 divided by 2. Midpoint of D at least 1 plus 3 divided by 2, 1 plus 3 divided by 2. Let us simplify this equation to find out x1, y1. x1 plus 2 divided by 2 is equal to, as earlier, we know that if two order pairs are equal, then the coordinates will be equated. 
So x1 plus 2 divided by 2 is equals to 1 plus d divided by 2. Next one, y1 plus 2 divided by 2 is equals to y1 plus 2 divided by 2 is equals to 1 plus d divided by 2. So let us simplify this 2 to find out the point x1, y1. So we can cancel 2 in the denominators, then after we'll be getting x1 plus 2 is equal to 1 plus d. So x1 plus 2 is equal to 4. So to find out x1 is equal to 4 minus 2, x1 is equal to 2. And then let us simplify this part. 2 is cancelled on both the signs. We'll be getting y1 plus 2 is equal to 4. y1 is equal to 4 minus 2. y1 is equal to 2. Here we got x1 y1 is equal to 2 comma 2. That is the point A. A x1 y1 is equal to 2 comma 2. And here the midpoints of the triangle ABC are given. Then we got three vertices AX1 Y1. That is nothing but AX1 Y1 is equal to 2 comma 2. AX1 Y1 is equal to 2 comma 2. And BX2 Y2 is equal to 0 comma 0. And CX3 Y2 is equal to 4 comma 4.